Okay, so I am sorry to come into the video like this. I know it's not normally how I start my vlogs, but I felt like I needed to put a disclaimer at the beginning of this video because this trip gets wild. Towards the end of this video, a lot happens. There is so much chaos. There's a lot of moving parts. There's a lot of things that all happened, but there was no way that I could really like vlog and tell you all what was going on while we were going through it. I, I don't want to ruin it yet, but basically you're going to see me pop up at the end and I'm basically going to be kind of explaining what all happened because I don't think I've ever had a trip quite go so, so so wrong. But I also wanted to go ahead and include a very bittersweet update I wanna tell you guys. So Miss Gwen was our foster dog with the love pit and we just adored her to death. I know you guys loved her as well. I was putting her on more and more of the vlogs and in that update video, I basically told y'all about how we had just met with her adoptive parents or possible adoptive parents um, before everything went great. But then the next day, Gwen had a second seizure within a week's time since changing her medicines. So she was no longer considered a stable condition. So they were putting a pause on the adoptive process for her. And so last I had heard literally before this trip, like before I started the trip, last I had heard, they were pausing the adoption. They were trying to like weigh everything out, talk to the vet, see what's going on. So once I got back from this trip, I found out that the love pit went ahead and decided to move forward with Miss Gwen's adoption. They actually are keeping in touch with the adoptive parents. They're, they're working with them, which I think is absolutely wonderful to make sure that Gwen is in the best possible health. But basically, oh no, oh no, oh no, hold on. I'm gonna get it together. You guys, I'm gonna get it together, okay. Ooh, <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, give me one minute, <laughs> one minute. Okay, I am sorry, you guys. I'm probably gonna be an emotional wreck, but I just want you to know, I am so, so happy. Like, these are happy tears. They're sad tears, but they're happy tears. So basically, I got back from London and then the next day we took Miss Gwen to her forever home. And it's the best place. Like, she's gonna thrive there. She's gonna be so happy there. And yeah, I just loved her. She was just great. Sorry, I'm such an emotional wreck, but Gwen is exactly where she needs to be. She has the perfect family. I could not have chosen a better family for her. It's just hard because fostering is hard. I mean, that's why a lot of people are like, I could never foster, I could never do it. Because it's not easy. You have to be completely selfless. Like, it's not at all about you. You basically have to open your heart, open your home to a dog that you have a very high potential to fall in love with and then say goodbye to the dog. So it, it was hard. It was tough, but also like, happy we knew that you know if we do want to continue fostering and we do want to save more dogs lives because dogs lives are at risks when the shelters are over capacity especially when they're medical cases like Gwen it doesn't make them easy to be adopted so to be able to give a dog a good home even if temporary it's it's just it's what we love to do so you have to say goodbye to one dog to say hello to another so yeah Okay, I am sorry you guys, I had to take like a 10 minute time out. I needed like a 10 minute debrief. I was like sweating, I was snotting, I was crying. I was I was basically leaking out of all, all the places. So I need to take this water off and I needed to just chill for a minute, but I'm ready. The show must go on. So basically I have one last thing. I promise just one last thing before we finally jump into this video, which is going to hopefully be everything that you have been waiting for. But I did wanna take a very quick moment to thank today's sponsor, which which is Factor. Factor makes meeting your diet and nutrition goals a snap by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian designed meals right to your doorstep. I know you guys have seen Factor a lot on my channel because I am obsessed and they just make a lot of sense for me. They're so easy for me to take in my cooler bag. I can take them on my flight attendant trips, whether it's a one day, a two day, a three day, a four day. I'll just throw a handful of them in and they keep me on track with my diet and nutrition goals, which can be so hard to do when you are traveling. But also even when I'm at home, like if I've got work to do, if I've got editing, to do I've got cosmetic stuff I've got to run or if I'm just tired from coming back from a flight attendant trip I can just take a factor meal pop it in the microwave it takes two minutes that's all it takes 120 seconds and then I have the most delicious meal right in front of me ready to eat and it still fits with my diet goals because we all know that fitness starts with food and factor makes it possible for you to achieve your daily goals through nutritious and purposeful eating and factor offers keto calorie smart chef's choice and vegan plus veggie options which include seafood meat and plant-based meats so if you want to join the factor family like myself you can now head to go.factor75.com slash katnesbit60 and 
use code CATNESBIT60 for 60% off your first Factor box. Once again, thank you to Factor for sponsoring today's video. Now let's finally, finally, finally head to the airport. I just got to the Dallas airport and we're just gonna be working the one flight over to London, a nice big old long one. And I am gonna be position 10 today. So I'm gonna be working with another flight attendant doing the aircraft right aisle. I'm almost positive we're gonna be going out of the D terminal. Uh, I'm gonna take a, a quick look, but let's go ahead and get our stuff out and go wait for the shuttle to head to the airport. Let me be right by your side Cause I know that this is right Don't be shy, just get to know me Somewhere else you and me can find ourselves Stop pretending we are lonely I can't call your love Cause I know that this is love Can't pretend that you don't feel it People think that you missed I know you can't resist Let me make your life easy We are back in our cruise ship stomping ground. Ooh, and there's a refrigerator already, so that is good. Let's see which bathroom we have. But this is the one that's like that long hallway with the mirror that's really high for, for absolutely no reason at all. And let's play the game. Do we have a view? Um. I don't think so. I can't figure out where this curtain begins. Here we go. Not really. No. But also, this needs to close. I don't know how to close this, but it's so cold outside. So right now it is 345. I don't know if that is going to focus. There it goes. Um, so we had a super junior crew this time. There was so many fresh faces, a lot of junior flight attendants, which I don't think I've ever had a junior IPD crew like that before. Not out of Dallas for sure. So we're gonna be meeting downstairs, I think in like 25 minutes. We're gonna be meeting with four other flight attendants. So there's gonna be like a group of us. Um, I think we're gonna start exploring. I know we want to go see the Tower Bridge because I've never seen it and also another flight attendant has never seen it. So I think that's where we're gonna start. I know another one was saying that they're hungry so I'm sure we're gonna find food somewhere. I don't want to waste too much time because I kind of need to freshen up before we go and I got to change and get everything together. Also, one of them just texted and said, it says that at 4 p.m. the fire alarm is going to go off. We don't have to evacuate. So I guess in like 15 minutes, we're gonna hear the fire alarm go off. So that's wonderful. But another amazing thing about this flight is I got to see the Northern Lights. It was stunning. That is on my bucket list. I've always wanted to like see them and I never have gotten the chance to. And the pilots came back and they were like, hey, if anybody wants to see the Northern Lights, you can come up here for a minute and take photos. And I was like, me, absolutely, 100%, like I wanna see them. But I'm sorry to like, I feel like I'm talking a mile a minute, but let's go ahead and start getting ready because we do not have much time before we gotta get out of here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my makeup bag. And then we have the, oh no, something leaked in my bag. I think that's the, my NARS foundation. Oh, poop. I'll have to like wipe everything off. But anyways, I'm still going to freshen up. I don't know. I may or may not have another one of these bags. If not, I'll grab it tomorrow, but I'll rinse all of this out. So we need to hurry you guys because I already told them I'm on my way downstairs and I'm pretty sure they're just waiting on me. Whoops, my bad. But I wanted to show you all the fit first because I'm feeling like really cute and comfy and casual. The pants are from Primark and I love these. They're so comfy. The top is that black cami from Primark that I'm obsessed with that I bought in like every color. The jacket is the jacket that I got in Primark in Dublin that I'm in love with. This is from Target and so yeah. Here is today's fit, and I'm feeling super cute. Now, without further ado, let's go downstairs. No joke, I think they just blew up my phone. I'm like, where are you, girly? Because I said I was like heading down too long ago. <laughs> so we are walking to take the tube right now. Say hello to everybody. Hello. This oh is the God, most people. Too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna crop her out. Yeah, edit that. <laughs> She's like, we're gonna edit that. It's gonna be weird when there's just four of us and just a, a, like a green screen. We are walking over to the tube right now and we're gonna head over there. Besides the weather, it feels like autumn just seeing like all of the leaves on the ground and stuff already. I feel like Texas doesn't feel anything but like summer. It's still 80s, 90s, whatever, but when I come here, it's like we're in a whole different season already. So I think you can kind of see it like right over there. We have made it and it is beautiful. I feel like pictures kind of don't do it justice. It's really, really pretty. So 
So we just had an impromptu photo shoot with the tower. It was so cute. We took like the cutest photos. Now we're all starving. So we just tried to find like a local pub. It looks like it's waterfront. It looks really pretty. It's called The Banker. So we're walking there right now. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away? Show us where we are. We just took the tube and look what we came and saw. So we are at Big Ben. Y'all, I have been like belly laughing. This has been like the funnest trip, but I guess there's a better angle to actually see Big Ben. So I think we're gonna walk around to see it and then try to find some food somewhere because we only had like sweet potato fries and I'm starving. It really makes me wonder. I am back in the room. Oh, I am tired, you guys. I think it's like 10, 1030, 1030-ish local time. But I think the game plan is um, we're all gonna try to meet downstairs at 930 in the morning because we all wanna go to Primark. You guys know I am obsessed with Primark. I have a problem, like it's actually a problem. I left extra room in my suitcase and only brought two bags this time in case I needed a third bag. I might also use um, my Amazon bag, this one that you guys know I like to bring. I might also use this as a third bag with some groceries because I also want to go to Primark tomorrow at, not Primark, I'm sorry. I'm like fried, my brain is fried. I also wanna to go to Marks and Spencer, maybe Waitress tomorrow. So that's kind of going to be our game plan and I think we're gonna meet up, hopefully, hopefully everybody shows up. So we'll go shopping and then do breakfast, maybe walk in the park and then come back. That's kind of what I'm, I'm thinking for tomorrow, but you, you know how life works. There's always like twists and turns and other stuff. So I'm not exactly sure, but that's, that's kind of where my head is at right now. So I literally had to put my leg up here and up here, but I was finally able to close this before we left. So at least my room is nice and warm now. I got these pants on Amazon in the men's section. They're just like a black satin like material and they're just like the most comfortable thing ever. I'm like so loving sleeping in these. Like I'll link these down below. I also put them in my Amazon storefront, I think. So right now it's 8.03 in the morning. So I guess 8.04. Um, so we kind of talked last night and we said we're going to meet in the lobby around um, 9.30 to go to Primark. I think we're going to go to the one on Oxford Street because that's like the big one. That's the, the really good one. But I didn't go over to Marks and Spencer yesterday since we want to do a lot of sightseeing and stuff. I'm going to try to get ready pretty fast. If, if I have time, I'll go over there I think before we go to Primark. <laughs> <laughs> it opens at 9 a.m. so that's perfect. I don't know who's all gonna be going or not going so it'll be interesting to see who got up early in the morning versus um, who's gonna basically just be waiting for for pickup time. I'm actually way more tired than I'm used to being because normally I'm, I'm up way before this I'm pretty sure but we also got in a lot later because I think I'm also normally in bed by like nine o'clock <laughs> and yesterday i think we got back at like 10 30 so that was later than uh, it's later than my, my usual thing i also have the food energy drinks you guys know i love these there we go. when i first um had one i wasn't the biggest fan of the flavor the flavor is not like out of all the energy drinks i've ever had it's not like the best flavor in um, the entire world. Now I love the flavor, but when I first had it, I was like, meh, the flavor is all right. But it's just the energy you get from them. Like the guy that designed these, I don't know if I ever told you guys, but 
I looked up the guy that designed these actually has sickle cell disease. So he originally designed them as like an anti-fatigue to help with that sort of stuff. So for somebody like me who has an autoimmune disease, it's great because you get like chronic fatigue and that was exactly what it was originally designed to help. And it does, there's like no crashing, no jitters, no like spikes or anything. You just get like natural feeling energy. And it's also like, it's a, a vitamin energy drink so there's lots of like vitamins b5 b6 b12 caffeine electrolytes so if you guys try them out let me know what you think i know some people have tried them and tagged them some people like them some people don't and that is fine but i, I love them i just they work really well for me especially with my rheumatoid arthritis it's been great so i miss my dyson air wrap already <laughs> I feel like I have like a codependency with my Dyson Airwrap when it comes to doing my hair now. I just can't use anything else anymore. It's just so good. It's so good. It basically just does itself. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Whatever. That's one side down. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I almost made it worse. Like I almost feel like I should have just brushed it and left it. No? Yeah, kinda. Whatever whatever it's gonna it's gonna be fine okay so i'm just finishing getting ready i only have my lipstick left and i told you guys before my favorite lipstick combination is duchess and kitten so this is kitten and then duchess is this is it so this is duchess my light brown liner but this one is sold out on my website so I'm actually gonna be using Copycat today. Now Copycat is also a brown liner. It's just a little bit darker than Duchess is. So I'm gonna use this combination today just in case anybody wanted a substitute before Duchess comes back in stock. So I just sharpened it on up so we have a nice point. We're actually making pretty, pretty good time right now. It's 8.49. Okay, so like I told you guys before, same thing I do as always, I'm gonna outline and then I'm gonna fill the whole thing in with this and then I'll go over it with Kitten and we will, um, my brain cannot think. I'm like, I'm done. Um, but we will blend it, that, that is the word. We will blend it, I'll show you. Okay, so I am all filled in with just the lip liner. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take Kitten and then just put in a small sweep in the middle. Okay, and then we'll blot. Okay, so here's what it's looking like. The light's kind of doing something funny. It's kind of just looking like this. Now I'm gonna take Copycat and uh, go back over like the sides. Oh, where kitten was. Under and over. And just kind of like blend it in. Okay. And that is it. So that's going to be our lip combo today. I'll try to take you to better light. Let's pack our bag because it's 8.54 and get out of here. Just so you can see. So here's kind of like a dimmer light. And then we're in the bright light. So this is my lipstick. So I'm just gonna be using my little grocery shopping bag as my bag today. All right, so here's the fit check before we leave. I absolutely love this jacket from Primark. I'm gonna see if they have any more because it's just so comfortable, so cute. It was really, really easy to pack. My scarf that I wore from Target ended up shedding on my jacket. So I kind of need to go with it with like a lint roller. Like, I don't know if y'all can, can see, but um, it was just like from the the dollar section. So this was like $5 in the Target dollar section. And we don't want to forget this. I want to be your company. I want to be your company. I want to be your company. Think of the things we do. If it was only me and you.
Okay, you guys, so we just got back to the room and I have to make this really fast because right now it's already 12.17 and we need to be downstairs. We're leaving at 12.45, so I've got to be down there at like 12.45. 40 because everything just took a little bit longer than we wanted it to take but I went to the grocery store which was actually funny they had so much Christmas stuff out and I thought that was like an American thing where you have like stuff out long before the holiday seasons are really out but they already have Christmas stuff I got a lot of my favorites that y'all I think everything I've got y'all seen before and then we went over to Primark and I got this cute jacket here I will show you it's gonna look oddly familiar okay so I got the cute this cute jacket for 30 pounds, which is like $30 because the pound is only one pound is $1 and 11 cents in the States, which it was recently one for one, which is wild, like so wild. So I got this jacket, which might look like this jacket cause it is, but it's in brown. And then after that, we actually went to um, this little cafe. It was so cute. I don't know what the name of it is. It's cafe something, but it was so pretty inside. And we got like this amazingly beautiful breakfast. And then I did green tea and sparkling water. It was so, so good. But okay, now that you guys can probably see, I'm so in a rush cause I have like 20 minutes. I'm gonna change my clothes and then throw everything in my bag and I'll have to just sort through it later. Matt said he has a liquids bag for me. He has an extra one, so he's gonna give it to me on the bus. So I'm just gonna separate my liquids and put them probably in this bag. I just dumped everything out. Put them probably like in this pocket and then put them in there later. Okay, that absolutely has to be a world record because it's only 12.31. I feel like that's a new PR for me. Like that's a personal best to have all my stuff packed up and be dressed in that short of time. But let's go ahead and head downstairs now to see the rest of the crew. Okay, so if you made it this far, congratulations because this is where things get spicy. So I take my suitcase and I start heading downstairs to meet up with a crew to go to London Heathrow Airport. And as soon as I get downstairs, one of the flight attendants comes up to me and says, have you heard? Which is um, never really a great sign. So I was like, have I heard what? And they said, what if the flight attendants called out, which you guys might remember, this actually happened to me on my last London trip before I was on reserve. So I think it was like back in August, one of our flight attendants got food poisoning and had to call sick. Now in this instance, I have no idea why this person called out. I, I really don't know, I never found out. But I know from the previous instance how hard it can be when you are understaffed because just for a little backstory, there used to be 13 flight attendants that would work this trip. And then when COVID happened, the company took two flight attendants off the trip. So when another person calls out, you're basically working with three less flight attendants than you normally would on the trip. So it is very, very difficult. I already know how stressful it gets, how how much work you have to do. It's, it, it's a lot, you guys. So basically, we all get into the bus. We have the most amazing purser. She starts briefing us. She's given the rundown. She's like, all right, this is what we're gonna do. This is how we're gonna fill in the gaps. We have a lot of junior flight attendants, which I told you guys at the beginning. We have a lot of like new fresh faces who aren't used to working a lot of IPD flights. Now, fortunately, it was like the best junior crew ever. Everybody had their game face on. Everybody was ready. We were being briefed in the shuttle. We were ready to go. And then all of a sudden, right before we entered the tunnel to get to the airport, we are completely in standstill traffic. Nothing is moving. We have no idea what's going on. We're in a large bus and literally have no way out. We are just completely stuck where we are at. Now, another thing which I think is very important to know is that, you know, before you go work a 10 hour flight, a lot of flight attendants, myself included, will get coffee or an energy drink and drink it on the way to the airport so we're nice and energized before working the flight. So um, many of us are going to need to use the restroom soon. So now we are in dead stop traffic. We don't know what's going on. The purser's calling flight service. The bus driver is getting off and literally walking through the traffic to figure out what's happening because this is the only tunnel that leads to the London Heathrow Airport. So we're just waiting and many of us are starting to sweat because we have drink a ton of coffee. So we're like, oh no. Now, once the bus driver gets back on, they did inform us that there is basically like a pot in the shuttle if anybody has to go, but I don't think any of us were prepared to actually make that sacrifice. Now, it's kind of mixed reviews because we heard there was a fire, but also another person said there was a gas leak. I'm not exactly sure what happened in the tunnel. I hope 
I really, really hope that everybody was safe. So finally traffic starts moving and they basically start getting us as close to the airport as possible. Now they did say they are not gonna be able to drop us off at our terminal. They're gonna drop us off somewhere else and we are gonna have to go take a shuttle to take a bus to then go to cruise security. They are not letting us clear normal security. So we have to specifically go over to the cruise security place and then get over to our terminal. So we have all of these hoops that we have to jump through. So as soon as we get to the airport, Airport. We meet up with our new like flight guide and he's gonna be in charge of all of us There's two of them because there are two crews There was us and a Miami crew that were both waiting and then they start taking us over to the shuttle station So it's kind of like this underground little shuttle. So we're grabbing all of our stuff. There's a massive line We're trying all not to separate because there I think there's like 28 of us total so we're trying to all stick together as a group get on the shuttle relay the message of what stop we're getting off of then after we get off that we are going down long hallways to get over to the next spot which is like this underground like bus or train station type of thing to take us to the next point now here is where stuff got really intense because my anxiety started going up it was so claustrophobic there were so many people so many bags it's this really tight tunnel you have to get through and they had so many cops they're trying to direct traffic and then next thing I know because there's just a massive push of people going every which way which I do have to commend everybody that was at Heathrow that was working towards getting people where they need to be safely thank you thank you because I know that was not easy so we're all getting pushed and shoved we're all getting separated we're waiting to get on this bus so we're just waiting 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 so I ended up getting completely separated I would just ended up being with two pilots and a flight attendant and that was it and I was not going to lose them because I didn't know where I was going I had no idea what was going on so after we get off this bus we're all separated so we're just trying to call each other FaceTime each other text each other all meet up again we're just laughing and just trying to make the best of a bad situation so eventually we end up together the Miami crew takes their flight service person they move on we take ours we move on and we go inside the airport but once again we are not allowed to go through normal security so we have to walk all the way over to crew security and go out there finally we get through security which I've already told you guys like London security is no joke it takes a minute to get through their stuff finally from there we get bussed over to our terminal we just made the best of a bad situation but I, I really do have to just commend everybody I have to commend all the people at Heathrow Airport I have to commend my crew I just have to commend everybody because everybody worked so hard we were completely understaffed we're just busting our buns and not a single person dropped their smile everybody kept a positive attitude and that just made the trip it ended up being one of my absolute favorite trips even though so much stuff went wrong I was just surrounded by the best people and honestly Honestly, I will work the worst trip with the best crew every day of the week. So that's basically the craziness of how this trip ended, you guys. The least you guys can do for me now is press that subscribe button. It is completely free. Give this video a big old thumbs up. I am actually going and working another trip tomorrow, so I will be vlogging that and I will see you then. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.